my 48 Bobcat. My buddy James, he's my helper. I'm gonna drop my case. And he's mowing with it and I'm wee whacking. Got a 15 horse Kawasaki V twin on it. I put on it last year. I actually built that mower out of two old Bobcat junk mowers. A frame off an old, old Bobcat from like the early, early 80s and the deck is from like an 87, but both the same machine, just one, just one was a little bit newer than the other, but they were both exactly the same machine, so I mated them together because the frame to the other machine was shot. Now I'll get into that another time. Right now I just wanted to show you how my mower, 48 works. Just some of the power that thing's got, how fast those blades are spinning. That's a true 15 horse motor. It's a V twin Cowie. I'll tell you something. See those stripes? He didn't even mow over that yet. Those are the stripes from last time. This is going around the perimeter with it a little bit. Doing a video of him mowing with it. Look and see. Only went over it once. Design he's doing here. A little bit of a checkerboard pattern. Can't see it right now. Look at that. Yep, look at you can see the stripes from last week in it. Looks like it was just cut with the blade set really high. Cutting it at three inches, it's a perfect height. Especially for this time of year. It's the spring. Raining a lot. The grass is growing like crazy. Man. Look at that. That thing stripes the lawn like makes it look like a baseball field. Football field. The way that machine stripes, man. And you know what? That's what I like about the Bobcat mowers, man. The old Bobcat mowers, just, I mean, they just stripe fantastic. And it also has a lot to do with how your deck height and blade is set, too. But this machine, some machines, you really got to play around with the deck and the blade height to get them to stripe like that or put a striper kit or whatever. You know, but not this. This machine, I got it set exactly where I want it. I mean, it it cuts beautiful. I know the stripes are a little crooked. He's on a slope, so he's pulling a little bit. But, yeah. Lawn looks good, though. Lawn looks beautiful. Yeah, I had that mower now. I had that mower for about over a little over a year now. I got it, it was a junk mower when I got it. It was in the back of a dealer. The guy didn't want to spend the money to fix it because it needed an engine. But it looked like it was in decent shape. When I took the engine off, I saw that around where the engine bolted to it, the frame was all cracked and messed up. And I mean, we tried welding it, but st I still didn't like how it was. You know, I figured from the vibration, it might just come out, come loose again. So what I did was uh, I had a, an older one same exact mower just an older model same model number two and everything just older one it was orange it wasn't green this is before this is right before they started painting the bobcats green and i stripped down for parts so i took that frame and just the frame where the engine sits on i took all the parts that were good on the deck and a bunch of other parts from the other one and made it and made one mower out of it and i needed an engine and have one and then i got the 15 horse cowie and that that's how I made my 48. It was a lot of work, but sure paid off. Look at that. Now he's going. He's going to go a nice, do a nice, uh, nice design back and forth over there. Look at that. It's beautiful.
Now what he's gonna do is when he's done mowing that, he's just gonna go around it, go around that to even off where he turned. Doing a unique design with it. All right, guys, well, I gotta get back to work, so. Hope you all had fun. Hope you all enjoy this video. Have a good one, guys.